Now see this question. Consider the following. A plus B means A is neither smaller nor equal to B. Okay. So they have given these things. So let's directly go to the statement. So the statement is this one. And what we have to do, which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statement and conclusion. So we have to find which conclusion is correct. So just draw the statement first. So the statement is P into Q. Right. So into means multiply means not smaller than. Right. So it means P is not smaller. It means it could be greater or equal to Q. Now the second P minus T. So minus means not greater. So P is not greater. It means either is smaller or equal to T. See there are only three possibility. Either the relationship will be of equal or they are greater or they are smaller. Right. Okay. So now third. So T divided by R, divided by means from the full statement we can find, like it means neither greater nor equal, right. So this is saying nor greater, it means smaller to R, nor equal they have mentioned, otherwise we could have taken equal sign, okay. Now the fourth R and S, so R plus minus S means neither smaller nor greater. So it will be इनकी वैल्यू ना तो बड़ी है ना छोटी है इसका मतलब क्या होगा इसका मतलब दे आर ऑफ इक्वल सो दिस मींस आर इज इक्वल टू एस राइट सो नाउ द फर्स्ट कंक्लूजन दिस इज क्यू प्लस माइनस टी प्लस माइनस मींस नाइदर स्मॉलर नॉर ग्रेटर इट मींस दैट दिस क्यू इज इक्वल टू टी नाउ द सेकंड कंक्लूजन एस प्लस प्लस मींस नाइदर स्मॉलर सो दिस इज नॉट स्मॉलर नॉर इक्वल इट मींस एस इज ग्रेटर टू क्यू ओके सो नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड कि ये जो स्टेटमेंट दिया है इसके बेसिस पे हम ये कंक्लूजन ड्रॉ कर सकते हैं नहीं राइट सो लेट्स वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिलेशन बिटवीन क्यू एंड टी सो फ्रॉम दिस टू वी कैन फाइंड सो दिस इज पी इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू क्यू एंड पी इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू टी राइट सो देयर इज वन पॉसिबिलिटी इफ पी इज इक्वल टू क्यू राइट एंड देन टी बिकमिंग बिकॉज वी हैव इक्वल साइन ऑल्सो राइट so here also we have equal sign so p can become equal to q right and this t can also become equal to p so t is equal to q is possible right but this is not always possible okay so we cannot conclude that it is surely it will be equal right so this is possible but in few cases okay now the second statement we have to find relation between s and q so from here r is equal to s we can put s here so this will become s is greater than t okay if s is greater than t then we can put it here so this will become s is greater than t right and this is p and then q so it means s is greater than q also from this so this statement is correct so second statement is correct but first conclusion is not sure right in few cases this is true so the answer will be option b only okay